Hi friends, it's Miss Dina and it is time to do our small group activity. Today we're going to be talking about questions. So come on. Okay friends, so today we're going to be talking about questions. The activity is called the question basket and the objective is to demonstrate writing skills. So that is what we want to focus on. So what you will need is paper, um, pencils or markers, um, clipboards, index cards or paper um, with questions and then uh, related pictures and something to put the questions in. So, for example, I'm going to use this box and I have these Try this again. <laughs> Sentence strips. I'm going to fold them up really quick and put them in my box. Um, obviously, you can have um, more questions made up. Like I said, these are just printed on um, a piece of paper with a picture. Um, you can use index cards to um, just write your questions if you would like um whatever works for you um the i'll explain the idea here in just a minute let's get these in here more and this is um you know an activity that we can do the dinner table you can do um before bed um or just just about any time, really. So, um, so you're going to put your questions in something. It can be a box, you know, similar to this, or a basket, um, or any kind of container, really. So, um, you'll have the child um, pull the question, and let's see what this one says. It says, what is your favorite food? And I put a piece of pizza on here because that's Miss Dina's favorite food is pizza. So what you want to do is give your child um, a piece of paper. Um, you can make a notebook, like a little journal, just by taking... Um, you know, copy paper, and then taking a piece of construction paper, and then like folding it in half, like so you would have um, your printer paper, and then you can just fold it in half and put a piece of um, colored construction paper on there and just like punch holes in it, staple it, um, you know, tie string around it, whatever whatever you have um, laying around the house to do that and um, make it work. And um, have your child draw the answer to that question. So they can write it um, or draw it. So the goal is for them to be using their writing skills. So that means holding the pencil um, and hopefully holding it appropriately um, versus this, you know, or, you know, however kids hold the pencils. Like, you want them to have the triangle, I call it the triangle grip, okay? So that is the goal for them to be writing. Um, so you would um, have them... Pull the question, you can um, pull the question out, read it together, talk about 
um, talk about it. Um, you know, one of the questions was like, what is your favorite time of day? So you could brainstorm, um, you know, well, what is the schedule like at school? What is, um, what do we do at home kinds of things and talk about, you know, what is their favorite time of the day? Um, so you want, you want them writing. So um, that's the goal is, is writing. So here are some ways to um, level that up. So you want to start with inviting the child to draw or scribble on the paper to answer the question. And then talk about what they, what they drew. Oh, you drew a lot of circles in a row on your paper. Or you drew a lot of um, whatever markings you see. Just talk about it and, and that's perfectly fine. The next level would be to invite the child to draw or scribble on the paper and then point out any mock letters or letter-like forms. So you have a lot of up and down lines. This looks like an M, you know, and point out the letter on the paper. Um, and then the next level, you would ask them to identify any letters that they have written. Can you tell me what letters you have written on your paper? And then the next level would be to try to identify beginning and ending sounds. So you said your favorite thing to do outside is draw with sidewalk chalk. What beginning sound do you hear in sidewalk? What is the beginning sound? Sidewalk. Okay, and walk them through that. And then chalk. This one's a little bit trickier because you've got, you know, as we know, two letters. But talk about it, you know. Ch -ch -ch. Now, you know, there's not any, there's not one letter in the alphabet that makes that sound. So this sound is made by two letters, C and H. Ch -ch -ch. Okay. And then the last level would be to invite child to write phrases and sentences to answer the question and provide support by offering to sound out words. So you would like to write the word snack. So, if we were to sound it out slowly, what sound do you hear? Snack. You know, say the word slowly and have them pick out the sounds. Okay? So, questions to keep in mind as you're doing this activity. What letters and words was the child able to write? How did the child manipulate the writing tool? So how did they hold the pen or the marker? Did the child understand the purpose of writing or drawing? So when you read the question and discussed the question and then they drew or scribbled on their paper, do you think they understood what they were drawing or writing? And how did the child write his or her name if they wrote their name? So those are um, the questions that you would report back to your teacher. Again, if you do these activities, they count on your pink volunteer sheet. So make sure you let your teacher know. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, hit the bell icon for all notifications so you don't miss any videos. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart.